Hey folks, we're back again with Rick at Blue Ox here at FMCA in Madison, Wisconsin. Rick, I'm looking at a Patriot braking system. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Patriot braking system is a fully proportional braking system that is electric driven, not like your conventional brake in a box, it's an air driven system. So works a little smoother, works a little better than the, the systems that are out there today. Now what's important about proportional braking? Proportional braking is important because as a coach slows, you only want to apply so much brake to that towed vehicle. You do not want an instant hit to that brake, which with the air system, you, you don't have any tolerance there. It's either full on or full off. Okay. And that's where a lot, the difference lies in the, uh, the electric braking system is it has the ability to do that. Outstanding. Can you show me how easy this is to install? Absolutely. Let's, I'd love to. Let's go out and do one. Let's do it. So how easy is this, Rick? You just set it right there in front of the seat. Absolutely, Gary. It's very easy to install. It sits flat on the floorboard. It does have adjustable legs that screw in the bottom, but most applications will just sit flat on the floor. And the reason for the adjustable legs, if it has a, a slope to the floorboard at that Correct. Point. Okay. Yeah, and there's a few vehicles out there that have that, so we have to make that option available for right, the customer. Right. Okay, so you got it here in front of the seat. Yep, have it here in front of the seat. The next thing is, is to make your clamp onto the brake pedal. which is pretty easy. That just snaps down over. Oh, you don't have to tighten anything, it just snaps on? Yep, snaps on, it's okay. spring-loaded, so okay. it just stays right there. Easy. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is adjust your, your back pad to the height of your seat. Okay. And with so many seats being different, all you have to do is tip that seat forward. Gotcha. Push it up to where it's snug against the seat, and that's it. Now to set it up for any particular vehicle, what are your settings that you have there on the uh, Well, there's panel? there's two different positions that this unit can be in. It can be in a position mode and it can be in a force mode. Okay. Uh, the position mode is an override mode, which is just a general mode. We we don't really like to see it in that in that mode. We really want it in the force mode because that's where it works its best mm -hmm. <clears throat> with the proportional braking. When you set that into the force mode, you have the ability of setting it into a hybrid mode or an active braking mm -hmm. system mode. Now I noticed all the lights came on at first. That's going through a check. Yeah, it's just going through a checklist. Um, I started it up in the setup mode by holding the setup button and turning the power on uh, okay. simultaneously. And then at that point, you can set either your position mode or your force mode. And at this point, it is already set up for a hybrid vehicle out of the box. So all I'm doing is jogging this up to a higher force rating to make it compatible for a vacuum over hydraulic braking system. And that's it? That's it. Hit the setup <laughs> button, it saves the settings. Now, like any brake in the box system, you really need to position your arm because this unit know, needs to know where the brake lights come on on this vehicle right. and start hitting. So all you have to do is jog this out till the brake lights come on, give it two jogs back. And that's all. Hit the setup button. It's going to go ahead and do its own thing. It's going to stroke in and out three times. Uh -huh. um, and once it does that stroke in and out three times, then we're ready to go. It'll give us a ready light. Uh, this unit, particular unit, goes up into the motorhome. Mm -hmm. This controls the brake. You can actually, just like a brake control in a pickup, you can set the gain on it. So you can add as much length to that a stroke of that rod mm -hmm, as you want, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. when you add more length, which is a higher number, you add more brake to the vehicle. Outstanding. Outstanding. So proportional braking, no matter what type of towed vehicle you use, hook it up, do your gain adjustment, and set it all up for the stroke of what you need for the brake lamp to come on, yep. and you're good to go. You're good to go. It's that simple to set up, and at that point, uh, it comes in the box set at a five setting, which is middle of the road. Zero would be adding no brake. One would be adding a little. Nine would right. be adding maximum. At that point, you can go ahead and dial it to whatever that setting is. The beautiful thing about our brake system is just like testing a brake control on a trailer as you're coasting in neutral. Right. You can do the same thing with your motorhome, throw it into neutral. We have a little lever on the bottom of our controller from the motorhome. Manual override. Manual override, you can test and see what that brake pull is on the vehicle and 
easy. It's easy to use. <laughs> Outstanding. That was such an easy installation. You just run it through its uh, test procedures, hit set the gain, and you're good to go. Absolutely, Gary. Now, where can folks get some more information about this? They can visit our website at www.blueox.com. There you go, folks. You can't get much more patriotic than the Patriot from Blue Ox. A little bit more coming from the International Convention in Madison.